This is a Starfall Sabers Mystery Saber or One of One Saber, and I got this second hand, so I didn't get it directly from Starfall Sabers, but what's neat about Starfall Sabers is, well, they're in US-based Etsy store, and they make these kind of one-off sabers like this with kind of a found parts feel, but also an in-universe feel to them. And I know, you know, Star Wars fans will look at this and see a few kind of recognizable elements or, you know, things that are a little bit similar maybe to some in-universe hilts. So it's pretty neat. And this is an installed saber, so it's installed with Prism 5.1, which is a Plector Labs board. We'll fire it up a little bit later in the video, but let's take a closer look. But, you know, actually before that, so I'm not aware of this hilt having a name. It is a one-off, but I do like lightsabers to have a name. So I'm naming it Nomadic Scavenger. Uh, I'm just calling it that because it looks like it has all of these great elements kind of cobbled together. And, um, you know, it's just this really neat combo of, of parts. And it looks like it's maybe made by a scavenger. So that was my impression anyway. But if we look at this hilt now, this hilt is uh, quite long. So it's 13.5 inches long, so a little bit maybe above average in length, and that's all the way from the bottom of the pommel up to the top of the emitter. And it's also quite heavy, so this is a little over two pounds, um, so it definitely has a little bit of a weight to it. And if we start at the top of the hilt, now, I know one of the most noticeable things to me was this is very similar to a Darth Maul emitter. So it's kind of a Darth Maul style emitter. It's also got some black coloring to it and, you know, a few different kind of uh, flanged sections at the top or, you know, flared emitter type of thing going on here. And then this sort of turbine style emitter at the top as well. We've got a few different Greeblies, brass Greebly here and metallic silver one below that. And then here, this is kind of a painted red um, greebly, or at least part of it's painted. This is the activation switch. And then we get to this next section that it's a little bit more of a kind of darkened, kind of worn piece of metal is what it looks like. This is an aug switch over here. And then this is a kind of kill key in the uh, recharge port. Now below that, we get to this kind of etched section that's really kind of interesting. So to me, it looks a little bit like maybe rocks. Um, I don't know, maybe islands. There's lots of different ways you could possibly look at it. Um, maybe, well, who knows? <laughs> so that's kind of a neat section in the hilt as well. And then we get to the lower part of the hilt and there's this shroud that kind of wraps around there and it has some weathering on it. So it's sort of a blackish color and then maybe a little bit of a brownish color underneath it. And then here's the cover tech wheel for that. And then here's kind of the metallic silver section under it with a small series of grooves there. And then finally, sort of in the pommel section of, of the saber, it, it's sort of a slanted pommel. So it makes it look a little bit more like an emitter of a saber even. It looks a bit like this is the emitter and this is the um, blade holder, but this is actually the uh, pommel area and there's the speaker in there. So that's just sort of an overall tour of the hilt itself, but now let's kind of turn it on. Okay, so that's kind of the uh, boot up, or the boot sound. Let's put a blade in. It's a very kind of powerful, crackly sound font installed on this hilt does have flash on clash lots of different lots of different cool clash sounds to it there's the blaster bolt deflect and you can kind of change the color a little bit change it to a nice blue it changes to a bunch of other colors too. There's a nice purple. It's got a little bit of a blade flicker going on as well. So now the uh, flash on clash is red. So a lot of different options. Nine. 
so it's pretty cool you guys here it is um, I guess I should turn it off this was a Starfall Sabers, a one of one saber, and I, I'm calling it Nomadic Scavenger, and it's installed with Prism 5.1 sound. So feel free to comment below.